have to ask you this question. So as a foreigner, do you regret opening your business in Thailand? What? It's recording. Look at this food. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Andrew? Love it. You think the girls over ordered? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> no. This is a justified food after that workout we did. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, we definitely had a good workout, huh? Heck yeah. Chicken fried oh. rice. Chicken wings. Fried a shrimp cake. Shrimp cake. Sweet. Squid, fried squid. Oh no! And double, double portions of a lot of this. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're not going hungry tonight. And this is what is this gift? Uh, tom yam goong, swing. And how much did you pay for all of this? Uh, one thousand one hundred baht. And we also have some Thai water, as you can see. <laughs> and all of these folks are going to go swimming this evening, except for me because of my foot, unfortunately. So. So Gift, what just happened? <laughs> oh, your mouth is full, sorry. <laughs> Aloy Mai? Aloy Ma. Jen Noi Le Salon call me because the every meal, one, 1,100 baht, but she think for the swim cake, the three baht. So unbelievable. The restaurant called us to tell us that they think they overcharged us. Gotta love Thailand, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Next time we go, we have a hundred baht credit. <laughs> and the food is delicious, right? Yes. We're enjoying our company. Delicious. Yes. So how's the food? Would you recommend Jay Noi? Yes, of yeah. course. Yeah. <laughs> my plate that. Normally we can't eat this much, but uh, we got the big man over here. We had a good workout. Solid workout. So, did this old man uh, show you anything? <laughs> <laughs> have my muscles grind for mama. <laughs> We are going to go spend a night in Top Scare tomorrow, Top Scare Beach. We've shown you guys that before, but we'll show you again tomorrow, of course. But before we go, we are going to get some good pancakes. That's not going to fit around you, Gift. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Yes, you do know you could stand up in that, right? <laughs> no, you can't stand. I got this one, I can't, but. It's recording. Record him? Then I cannot sit there. That's the best way to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, that's why you checked him out of pocket. I said to you, what was I thinking? Oh my god. You can't be here. You can't be here. <laughs> oh crap, I got my cell phone. We gotta do a, re we gotta do a replay on that. Damn it. <laughs> I beat you to your own pool. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> So we are on our way. We're gonna get breakfast and and we also have our friends, Andrew and Kim. You guys know them from a, uh, another video I did. I'll post a link to that video in the description below. But anyway, what are you having? What are you gonna have? Andrew cakes, <laughs> sloppy joe, you name it. <laughs> they don't have sloppy joe, but I'm gonna have pancake and eggs. Pancakes and eggs. 
So here we are, Milano Coffee Shop, Restaurant, and Guest House. We'll put a link to this location in the description below as well as the pinned comment. But the food is fabulous here and very reasonable in price. Here is a look at the menu. And that's what I'm getting right there. Five pancakes and two eggs. Oh yeah. Give it to me now. Yep. <laughs> And after breakfast, we are going to go to Rocky Point and spend one night at the beach. Uh, Andrew and Kim's in town for two days. And then we are going to talk to Andrew about his business, the frying pan. Ask him if he has any regrets opening a business as a foreigner in Thailand. But we'll talk to him about that later. So how long have we known Kim and Andrew? Well, actually, I knew Andrew before... He ever came to Thailand because he was subscribed mm -hmm. to the channel. Then we met them about two and a half years ago, right? Yeah. Two and a half years ago. And we uh, met, hooked up with them and, and uh, we've been friends ever since. Any regrets being our friend? <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit. Hannah showed out at me in the gym yesterday. Not to look qualified. Don't be a hater. Don't be a hater. Uh, <laughs> because you pushed me in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, that was... Um, I did ask you if you had anything in your pockets, though. <laughs> you ruined my receipt. Your receipt? You had a receipt? Yeah. Oh. Can't file it in my taxes now. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys... Um, how long did it take you guys to get here from Bangkok? Three and a half hours. No traffic? Not much? Tidbits. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Really, any significance? So, how is Bangkok nowadays? I mean, you just left on the first one. Things are ter returning somewhat normal. Yeah. Um, still slow. So they're pop. They're still slow. Back there in Sat, over there in Saturn, but um, um, what is it called? Soy, the soy area. Soy oh, like Sukhumvit, Sukhumvit. Yeah, area. the main. They're picking up. Oh, they. Because we did a drive by drive through she liked to call it survey and um yeah some of those places was like tapped out full oh good like, good okay so you when did you how long you been driving in thailand now uh babe how long has it been like four months four, four months, months. so you drive around bangkok much um every time i get a chance i guess but um <laughs> it's quite this place to drive but I just had to tap into my experience driving all corners I had to tap into my experience driving war zones yeah, <laughs> down yeah. range to deal with this because these motorcycles don't give a crap they're acting like they're freaking 18 wheelers yeah. here is our breakfast we got Andrew and I got the same thing Mm. Pancakes and eggs, and um, yeah, it's sloppy and nasty. That's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Stack it right, together, top it off. Top it. Oh, Shh. voila. Mm -hmm. Mm. Delicioso. <laughs> Good. Mm. Would you recommend Milano to folks coming here? For this type of goodies, absolutely yes. There you go, gift. Ah, bacon and scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. Enjoy, Okay. 
Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> So we are back here in Bangalore at JJ's Burger. Tom's not here right now, he's been sick, but his wife is right there. They did a little facelift to this place, they've made a few changes. They've actually um, come in from outside a little closer. His wife said that it's uh, the government didn't want them to be so close to the road, so they had to move it in some, so yeah. So they did a little bit of work on it. It's a cloudy day today, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We are having lunch here with Andrew and Kim, of course. And then we'll go back to Rocky Point where we got our rooms or our cottages rather. But we are gonna have some good food. I am going to have one of my, one of my favorites, roast beef and mashed potatoes. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Roast beef and mashed potatoes. <laughs> mm. <laughs> it's not spicy, is it? <laughs> I told you I can't handle it. Mm. It's good though. Leave it to the Thai ladies. They said we're sharing. We asked them, we're sharing a meal. They're not sharing a meal, they're sharing a feast. <laughs> Finish lunch. Very, very, very yummy. And we are here. Cafe de Wah. Ban Blue. Bye. Hi, chocolate. Healthy and strong. So, Andrew, you, um, you opened a business in Bangkok. Frying pan, Jamaican and Thai restaurant. So, are you Jamaican? 100%. 100%? Were you born in Jamaica or were you... Uh... Born and raised. Born and raised. Came to the States when I was 19. On the grounds of sports, athletics. Went to college as a result of that. Finished college. Served in the army. Got out of the army. So what, what, what did you do in the army? Initially, first 10 years was a logistics officer. And then I moved on to the special operations community. For the next 10 years you were an officer you retired as a yeah uh 04 04 major, major so yeah. you retired as a major how many years did you serve 20 years and like seven eight months something like that just enough to hit that i3 as a major and then i'm like okay i'm good mm -hmm. so what inspired you to come to thailand and open a business um visiting here and not finding jamaican food i felt like what Jamaican food is like everywhere I've been, for the most part. So, almost everywhere. So I said, I'll do it. I'll start up something here. Um, getting ready to retire. Don't really have a plan and doing anything specifically. I think this would be good because I like cooking anyways. You know, my mom had a restaurant in Miami uh, that closed down about what, seven, eight years ago or so. And I figured I'll open back another version of that restaurant. I went pan. from the military to the frying pan. Yep. <laughs> there you exactly. go. So um, you opened about seven, eight months ago? Yeah, in April. In, in the middle of a what pandemic. Did you, why did you open in the middle of the pandemic? You know, opportunity seems to come at various times. And I thought messing around with the stock market a little bit. When you buy a stock, it's usually the best time, I think, to buy a stock is when it's low because chances are it's gonna go up if it's low. So I figured times are low, prices are relatively low. I rent, comparing to the normal times when everything is up and running, people want more money because, you know, because of that. But now things are a little bit less. I'm, I'm thinking, I don't think it's gonna last much longer. So let me secure something now and uh, lock that in. And then hopefully sooner rather than later, things will start going on the uptrend. So I figured it would be the best time. And so I decided to go ahead and start it up. Okay, so you, your rent basically is cheaper in Bangkok because of the pandemic? Yeah, as of right now, it's not a break even point yet. We're a couple months under a year, seven months. So it's just, I mean, it is not 
normal times anyways so not so great now however and that's kind of an understatement but um i see it getting slightly better as things improve well thailand just um recently mm -hmm. uh they're letting more foreigners in mm -hmm. if they have the uh double vaccine i guess um starting mm -hmm. the first of november the whole time your restaurant was open you were not able to sell alcohol right yeah and that's a big part of your business There's is the alcohol part, uh, and um big part of your time you've opened a restaurant it was only to go food right people had to order right. they couldn't eat in they had to to right. basically have it delivered or come and pick up is that what it was right yeah i found that to be very discouraging rather it, i think people would rather just get the little regular cheap cheap stuff because when they want to have something really good i think they prefer going out to get it and have some beverage to go with it right dine in have that atmosphere the yeah. environment and they they weren't able to have that in your exactly. restaurant so far i mean but mm -hmm. now hopefully that'll change hopefully that'll change so we can get an uptrend and sooner rather than later you could probably get to the break-even point and then you could possibly start making something in comparison to negative nothing right now when you say you're not even breaking even so you're under you're in the red yeah in the red you're talking about three four k a month if you really look at everything yeah so, because you're paying your employees you're paying your rent you're paying your 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 inventory right. you have all of that to worry about right and no customers doesn't help right so or not enough rather in order to turn over enough revenue in order to come out positively so i mean it is expected but we was hoping based on the business plan and information gathered but rather sooner rather than later it's hoping for it to happen so right so your business is basically depending on your pension your military pension mm, yeah what you have left of it after you have to pay out certain things yeah you're in this with your fiance you'll be getting married in december yeah how easy or how difficult was it to establish a business in Thailand and what would you recommend to someone based on your lessons learned mm -hmm. in establishing a business I'd say focus on getting an expert or someone that's in the profession of putting businesses together for someone in Thailand and be careful not to just jump in some place without doing some solid research on them because they will take the opportunity I believe even if they don't have the experience to get that money now the end result is gonna be dependent on their experience so when you get into come country deliver all the paperwork be in order as you needed to because if it's not you're gonna have to turn to someone that really is right in the field of doing that otherwise you go through a hard time and, and, and I actually had that experience where it was someone that just took advantage of the opportunity that appeared to be helping businesses build but really it was not about that and they just took advantage of the opportunity so you turn around and had to spend with the real company later on and so your front money on the front end is pretty much mostly wasted yeah so know who you're dealing with mm -hmm. i guess you just have to be careful to be because careful. opening a business mm -hmm. in thailand or any country can be risky mm -hmm. if you don't have the right information up front mm -hmm. and the right exactly. resources up yeah, front yeah, to, to exactly. deal with that okay exactly it's been only been seven months mm -hmm. you're in a red right now you're hoping that things will get better you do you believe things will get better i see it getting better um, as the country becomes more lenient as far as letting tourists in the country um, get a good bit of international attention and I think as people come into the country uh, you'll see more turnout in addition to those that's on the ground already those that's on the ground already once these restrictions are removed are minimized Lifted, yeah. then people hopefully passing by will and that's has happened one these two z's here and there will come by and uh check out this establishment actually mm -hmm. not too many people have eaten jamaican yeah food exactly. i mean you know i mean some have but you know it's really something you really have to look for you know a jamaican mm -hmm. restaurant so you're opening in a pretty good 
place Bangkok, right? You know where you have right. a lot of a uh, lot of uh, visitors from mm -hmm. all over the world. Mm -hmm. So that'd be yeah, that'd be a good thing. Yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to coming. We haven't made it over to you yet mm -hmm. to actually try your food, but we will. Uh, we definitely will one day. I, I have to ask you this question. So as a foreigner, do you regret opening your business in Thailand? No, I I do not actually. Um, this is several things that's forefronted in making this move. One, to attempt to do something for myself. I've been serving the military in various different ways and now I want to serve myself, uh, my kids, uh, my wife. Um, do something for myself is, is the biggest thing. Attempt at minimum, you know, I, I don't feel like going to do some job again. So I'm going to do something that I find to be very promising, which is start a business type or a restaurant type or kind that is not in the country yet, at it's least unique. on an authentic level. Yeah, yeah. So got to be some kind of opportunity mm -hmm. and, and to have seen it before. So was this your lifelong dream to open a restaurant after the military? Uh, I, I would say because I am what cooking does for me, even throughout my, my as a kid, and coming up, I would always want to be with my mother in the kitchen, um, helped out in the kitchen. Um, during the military, my relaxation time was being in the kitchen after getting off of duty from a range or whatever. I found it to be relaxing. Don't eat, not even taking off my uniform, probably my top of it and then go right in the kitchen i wanted to be relaxing so i'm like why not do that if it doesn't seem to be work if it was work i wouldn't want to do it after coming from work i said i'm going to do something for myself regardless of anything that's what i want so to it's do. basically your passion it's this something is, you yeah, enjoy doing exactly other than your advice on if you're a foreigner trying to open a business in Thailand, make sure that you have the right resources, you're dealing with the right people, you're making sure everything is done right the first time. Mm -hmm. What other advice would you give anyone wanting to open a business in Thailand or, or any mm -hmm. other foreign country for that matter? Be serious about it if you're gonna do it because there will be challenges of various shapes, way, form. I mean, once you've decided that's what you're gonna do, and you're gonna move forward regardless of the obstacles, then that's what's gonna happen. So basically you have to be all in, fully committed to opening a business. If you're gonna do it, you gotta go all the way, all, all the in. Way all. Now, what would you, I mean, what is your advice for a location? Not every yeah. location is an optimal location for a business. True. What is your advice for that? True. So in mean, regards to the location, um, you wanna have the best, best location. There's some foot traffic, uh, the modes of transportation available can reach to you and there are some hotels for example that's around so people can walk by and that happens right so you so don't want to somewhat convenient yeah so you don't want to open up a business three miles outside of town on a, in the middle of some neighborhood where mm -hmm. nobody will know you know won't even be able to find you you you've got exactly. to be You've got to be where the people are, where the people are going to work, coming from work, mm -hmm. where foreigners, if they're coming in, are visiting because this is Jamaican food, so right. they'll be looking for that. So you definitely want to be mm -hmm. where you can get the MRT, the BTS, mm -hmm. good taxi service, whatever. You, you've yeah. got to be easy, accessible, I guess. Yeah. To, that's the best place. That, to, that, that to is all the best thing, yeah. Yeah. Having all those on hand. Good, good. Well... You know, I do appreciate your service. You did over 20 years in the mm -hmm. Army. You retired. When did you retire? Last year. Well, there it is. Andrew does not regret <laughs> opening up a business in Thailand, even during the, uh, the pandemic, the hard times. But he's a good guy. So if you come visit Thailand, if you're in Bangkok, I'll put a link to his restaurant in the uh, description below, as well as the pinned comment. Please check him out. You know, support him. He's a really good guy yeah. and really, really good guy. So. Uh, Good seeing you. We'll hopefully have a great time. Yeah. See you soon. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much for watching our video. Love you all. Bye bye. Sawadee ka.